In this video, we are going to find the equation of a quadratic graph given sufficient information. You will find this on page 24 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6s. Now find the equation of a quadratic graph given sufficient information. So they will give you the information and you must find the equation. So if they give you the x-intercepts and another point, so they must tell you where it cuts the x-axis. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. There it's better. Okay, let's start. The equation for a parable can be determined from the formula this. So it's x minus the first intercept, x minus the second intercept, and then there's a constant, where x are the x-intercepts of the parable. So determine the equation of the parable shown in the diagram. So take note that it cuts there at negative 3, and it cuts there at 1. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to substitute. Remember to substitute it in brackets, negative 3 and 1, and I keep A. And now I use the other point. Okay, so, so what is the other point? I can use, I can either use this point, doesn't matter, 0 and 6, or it seems to me I was using negative 1 and 8. So I can also substitute that point, 8, and um, let's just put it here, negative 1, and 8. Okay, so I substitute, I get the value of a, and then I'm just putting it back, and then I can multiply this out to form that x squared x without an x equation, but I can also leave it like that. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you just to do try now 25. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make it smaller again. Okay. Okay, try now 25. Find the equation of the following parables. I think you can only, um, I gave you A and B now. Okay. I think you can only in this video, I will only do number B. I think A is easy. But let me do number B for you. Okay, so touch the x-axis at 2. Oh, this is very important. So touch, and so x-intercept. And that's going to be 2 and 0. Okay, and intersects the y-axis, y-intercept. And I, I must just point this out, 0 and negative 1. If it touch, it, it's doing this. Can I just show you here? Okay. So, for example, it's, it's doing this. So, it touched there at 2 and 0. But, don't forget that the values will be exactly the same. So, if you look at this example, I'm just going to quickly show you there. So I, I'm going to use that same formula. x minus x1, x minus x2. So, but now it's two, it's two values. So look what I do. I'm going to say x minus 2 and again x minus 2 because it don't intersect, it touch there. Okay. And then I'm just going to get my others. I substitute that point in. So don't forget, can I just show you? This is x and this is y. So in the place of y, I put negative 1. In the place of x, 0. Can I just move this? 
this is becoming 4, so it's 4a. So if I'm going to simplify this, I'm going to say, so therefore, a, I divide 4, divide is negative a quarter. And if I'm going to simplify this again, substitute it back, can I just move it up? So it's going to be y, I think I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to do it in green again. So y, it's negative a quarter, and I can leave it like this, or I can even make a square. Or, if I want, I can multiply it out. And don't forget that this is going to be x squared minus 4x, because it's negative 2x, negative 2x, and plus 4. And if I want to multiply it in, I can have it y. This is negative a quarter x squared plus x minus 1. And that will be my equation of that parable that they described there. I think that one was easy. You could have done that one on your own. Uh, maybe I can just, because in the beginning, I can just maybe give you this answer. Let me just find this answer. So this answer was y is equal to negative a half x squared minus a half x plus 3. That was that answer. Okay.